what is going on guys so i'm going to try this current shunt box out on the vehicle to monitor the draw so the way this is set up is we have an m12 battery powering this obd2 breakout box which is plugged into the port right now so it's providing power to the vehicle and it's also going to run through this the circuit's going to run through this shunt resistor right to give us a voltage drop which we'll be able to measure on the scope so right now the vehicle's asleep and I also, after plugging in that box, made sure to disconnect the negative battery terminal so all the power on the vehicle is going through that shunt resistor. And I have the scope here. And you can see that that's basically the vehicle draw without any parasitic draw. And this is the vehicle plus the breakout box. The breakout box uses about 30 milliamps. And I'm getting about 70 here, so the vehicle's using about 40, which is kind of in the ballpark, what you'd expect. Now, I'm going to introduce a parasitic draw. You guys keep an eye on the, on the level there. Right, you should see that jump up. Yep, and it did. So, we now can measure what our draw is on the vehicle. Let's go ahead and do that. And so now the total draw on the vehicle is about 650 milliamps. So it works. And uh, we'll try it, um, you know, in some other situations. So this establishes that this is able to detect a parasitic draw on the vehicle. And the next couple of videos, we're going to find that parasitic draw in a couple of different ways. We're going to do it the old school way and pull fuses. And we're going to do it the new school way and measure voltage drop at the fuses. So that'll be the next couple of videos coming up. Thanks for watching, you guys. Really appreciate it. Let me turn off this parasitic draw so you guys can see it drop back down. And that should have dropped back down to around 70. Yep. Okay, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Really appreciate you watching. And of course, give me any feedback you have. I really want to hear it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.